Might as well keep going here. Take two. That was my hair. Hi, I'm Alan Stokel, and this is Free Boat Weekly, the episode for people who are serious about free and almost free boats. People have come to the realization that they are not going anywhere in a plane for a few years, or at least until uh, a vaccine is in common use. Other than a road trip in the family car, but please not to Canada, and pseudo camping in an RV, what is left is boating. And apparently, much to my surprise, sales of boats during a pandemic are on the rise. Now, naysayers claim that people are buying boats to use in uh, a more frequent flood situation or perhaps to escape the zombie apocalypse uh, that awaits us all. At any rate, <laughs> we do have some new boats and also a brief look at what you can get for an almost free boat and for you wood boat lovers, and actually I'm one but I wouldn't own one, uh, I have some vid on uh, classic wooden boats that are actually for sale. So here we are, Free Boat Weekly number six. Who'd believe it? Here's a free boat, call Mike. It's in excellent condition. It's a Pearson 26 sailboat. It seems as if it was professionally wrapped, although it also appears it needs a lot of work. It's in Huntington. Um, and it uh, looks like people were swimming off the, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the swim ladder is where the outboard should be, so I'm not really sure what's going on. There's no trailer, as you can see. It's being held up by stands. Um, so, at uh, Pearson's, good boat, uh, pretty traditional um, for the sort of 70s and 80s, the layout uh, on the interior was uh, pretty much, you know, um, they were all pretty much the same, weren't they? Sort of the head across from the uh, hanging locker and a V-berth and uh, you could put down the dinette, that sort of thing. They're all very, very common. So, um, there's a uh, look at the boat as it's sailing away. So anyway, uh, it says, includes spacious interior, cabin, room, sails, so much more, it must be removed from property today. Now, uh, as of today, uh, which is actually, what, the uh, 15th of uh, July, uh, it was still up. So um, that <laughs> may depend. Anyway, here's another one, a 50-foot sailboat, uh, $6,000 a liquidation sale. This uh, with a Perkins diesel. This boat is uh, partly finished. It's not completely finished, but it's partly finished. Um, and I think probably extremely good value. Um, uh, Jude Illness, uh, Borg Warner transmission, Perkins diesel uh, could be launched right away. $6,000 or best offer. Um, and on June 17th, they said, due to the enormous amount of supply, it's impossible to contact everybody. But if you check uh, the website, they actually have their own website, gives uh, all the details you need to know. Uh, for instance, displacement is 50,000 pounds, sale area 1,200 square feet. It's a uh, fiberglass epoxy over cemented steel. Um, so it's, uh, it's a big, heavy boat. Um, might be the perfect boat for you. Uh, if you are the sort of person who can do the finishing, like I say, it appears as if much of the work has been done. Uh, look at those stairs, for instance, but they do need finishing off. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of finishing work, I guess you would probably say. At any rate, um, great deal for someone who's a tall handy. Uh, you can see the part here that uh, is not finished. So it uh, gives you an idea. It's, it's a work in progress. We may be able to sail it away, but it's not uh, not ready for cruising quite yet. So here's a houseboat free. Um, that's what it said, folks. It said it was a houseboat. Uh, it looks more like a cabin cruiser, uh, so I trust it is free. Uh, it's uh, dream time, and uh, it's available uh, right now. We only have two pictures. I don't know what the interior looks like. Uh, may not uh, be all that great, actually. Uh, what's it say in the way of info? It says, uh, read the whole thing. Great summer project, St. Palgrave. Tow at your own expense, 32 foot, it's again says houseboat. 
Uh, appliances inside will need tune-ups, sleep six people, engine is uh, 350 Volvo. Now people tell me all the time you can't get free trailers. They are, people show boats on trailers and they say the trailer's extra. There's a free boat and here is a free Amphibicon and by George it's uh, people who cannot straighten pictures. Drive me nuts so we won't say anything more about that. But here are some really interesting wooden boats for sale. I promise people wooden boats. These ones actually are for sale. Some of them are absolutely sur uh, superb. Uh, look at this one, the Harry Bryant Rambler, for instance. Unbelievable. Uh, 1984 Van Damme 32 with the gaff rig topsail catch. Uh, let's read some more. There it is there. Unique uh, classic wood vessel, traditionally rigged. Uh, recreation of historic coaster type, built by Steve Van Dam using cold motor construction method. Uh, draft of five feet, capable of, capable coastal cruiser. Yes, very very nice. There's lots of lovely boats. There's a Grayling. Here's a, a mahogany lap straight uh, rowboat dinghy. Wow, some really really good stuff. So, uh, oh, here's a Gaudi and Stevens, for instance, with a flybridge, 1959. Wow, just amazing. 59, uh, old fashioned beauty, restored 35 foot. Wow, you can't beat it, folks. All right, thanks very much for uh, tuning in. So, that's it for this week. <laughs> so, that's it for this week. Just so everyone knows, I'm not a broker. I don't make a penny for promoting the boats uh, you see here. Uh, and to my knowledge, I've never met any of the owners who are selling the boats. Have you ever wondered about what sometimes happens to those free boats on this channel? Um, here's a news report about that. State law designed to save taxpayer money and clean up our waterways, ridding them of hazardous, derelict boats. And yeah, now one year into the program, ABC Action News anchor Lindsay Logue finds out if it's working or just a waste of time and money. Life on the water, for many, is the life. We asked a few people at Bay Pines. It's a very nice houseboat. What's not to love? It's beautiful. Other than a few derelicts that people keep leaving behind. Oh, it's gotten worse. A lot worse. Abandoned boats litter Florida's coastline. The problem isn't new, but a law to crack down on the owners is. It's enabled us to be able to start getting awareness of the owner a little sooner and maybe have them correct this action before they become derelict vessels. The at-risk vessel law went into effect July 1st, 2016, and for the first time, boat owners who abandon ship are fined. The awareness of us being able to say, hey, listen, you're going to get a $50 fine. Let's make some corrective action. It works. And that $50 jumps every month. The owner does nothing. So far, law enforcement has cited 166 boat owners across the state. It's only a fraction of the number of derelict vessels, but FWC says it's a start. It's constant monitoring. It really is. Removing them is expensive and the process lengthy. And while they're just floating here. So this sailboat here has been documented. They're a huge environmental hazard, not to mention dangerous. If you came across that flat at night, you'd run right into it. That's the bad part. The good part, a plan to hold boaters accountable when seas get rough. The state legislature this year awarded a $1.4 million grant to FWC. That money will help them remove the derelict boats. Back to you. Okay, so if you find the channel amusing, entertaining, and or informative, then please click on like. If you really didn't care for it at all, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified next time we post, which is usually once every two weeks or so. I'm Alan Stokel. Fair winds, everyone, and stay safe. Wear a mask. It's the most unselfish thing that you can do.